there is something creepy about hospitals. Maybe because they have featured in hundreds of horror movies, or maybe because it's where belligerent old people like to visit. So surely a haunted hospital would be extra double creepy. These are the 10 most haunted hospitals. The Royal Hope Hospital was a Spanish hospital in what is now Florida. It served the Spanish military from 1784 to 1821 and was built on an old Native American burial ground. So it already sounds like the ideal setting for a terrible horror movie, which is fitting because almost everyone who visits the site reports some kind of paranormal experience. They claim the hospital beds often rise into the air as if controlled by poltergeist. According to local legend, the spirits of dead Native Americans sometimes emerge from their graves and attack the ghosts of the Spanish soldiers who disturbed their resting place all those years ago. Taunton State is a psychiatric hospital for the criminally insane. Built in 1854, the complex was home to some of the most savage killers in North America. One of them was Jane Topan, a serial killer nurse responsible for 31 deaths. If records are to be believed, doctors would often drag patients into the basement and force them to take part in satanic rituals. To this day, people visiting the basement experience an unexplainable feeling of fear. People believe the hospital to be cursed. They claim the satanic rituals actually summoned the devil to the site, and people are supposedly approached by the shadowy figures of souls that escaped from hell. Old Changi Hospital is world famous as the most haunted place in Singapore, which isn't hard considering Singapore is basically just one big shopping center. During the Second World War, the hospital was used by the Japanese as a military prison camp. The hospital was also used by the Japanese secret police as a torture chamber. The building is reportedly haunted by the ghosts of those tortured to death there. Local people believe that every Saturday night, the ghosts burst out into the streets of Singapore and attack anyone in the area. If you are attacked by the ghosts, you will come to no immediate harm, but by the end of the week you will be driven insane. Willard Asylum for the Chronic Insane was an appropriately named insane asylum in New York. Opening its doors in 1869, the building has seen many years of pure horror. Women being sent to the asylum just for showing interest in sex wasn't a rare sight. Most patients would never leave, rather, die during their stay and be buried in unmarked graves. People claim that being buried in unmarked graves disturbed the patients to the point that their spirits were left behind, left behind to walk the halls screaming for revenge. Several videos of the supposed hauntings exist online. I might put some of the footage in this video, or I might not give a fuck when it comes to editing. Only time will tell. Tranquil Santorium in Canada was a tuberculosis hospital that closed down in the 1950s. When the place closed, it was encircled by rumors that all the patients had been murdered by the staff. The hospital was soon reopened to treat mentally ill people but ultimately closed permanently in 1983. Visit the site today and you might see orbs of light floating through the air. You might even hear mysterious voices coming from the walls. A hotel resort was built on the grounds. People staying there often report being approached by the ghost of a nurse who was strangled to death by a patient. And with reports like that, I have no idea why people choose to stay there. Severals Hospital in England was one of the most brutal psychiatric hospitals in the world. Doctors were basically allowed to experiment on patients in whatever way they wanted to. These included both lobotomies and electroshock therapy. Women would often be sent here as a result of being raped only to find themselves blamed for it and brutally experimented on. Many of these women died due to such experiments which has led many ghost hunters to believe the disturbed souls of the women to have stayed behind long after they bled to death and had their bodies cremated in the morgue.
Nocton Hall is an English manor house. During the Second World War, it was used by the Americans as a military hospital. Several reoccurring stories exist of a ghost of a young girl. Every night, she haunts the same room for seven hours while crying the whole time. People who sleep in the room find themselves waking up suddenly at exactly 4.30 a.m. They see a ghostly young girl next to their bed. They say if you gain her attention, she will tell you stories of life in the 20th century. The last story she tells is of how she was a servant girl killed by the owner of the house and buried in the grounds, her grave being unmarked. Opening in 1867, Australia's Ararat Lunatic Asylum was home to some of the most dangerous patients in the world. Psychotic killers were sent here from all over the British Empire. It was closed in 1998, but during its 130 years in operation, 13,000 patients died there. Ararat was made up of 68 buildings. Every single one of these buildings is reported as haunted. Spirits supposedly walk the corridors of the asylum. Said spirits either appear as nurses in white uniforms or as dark shadowy figures with freakishly long arms. Electrical lights flicker whenever one of the shadowy figures walk past. The Kings Park Psychiatric Centre operated from 1885 to 1996. It was one of the four giant asylums constructed on Long Island. On the grounds is a cemetery where they buried the unclaimed bodies of patients who died during their stay. They say that if you visit the graveyard at night on the 3rd of April, you will hear muffled screaming and the sound of fingernails scratching against the lid of a wood coffin. Heading back to Australia, Beechworth Lunatic Asylum was the sister hospital of Ararat. As only two signatures were required to commit someone, the asylum housed over 1,000 patients. Beechworth was famous for the mysterious disappearances of numerous patients. The place is also famous for its brutal experiments. Enter the operating rooms, and you would have seen dozens of glass jars containing human organs. Around 9,000 people died at the hospital, one of which was a young girl who was thrown from a window. They never found out who threw her out of the window, or even if it was done by a patient or not. People visiting the site often report seeing what looks like a young girl falling from the building, but when they run over to the spot she fell to, all they find is a single doll. And so that brings us to the end of our list on haunted hospitals. These videos take a lot of time to produce, so every like, comment, share, and new subscriber is always appreciated.